Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you how to copy and paste in WP Bakery. In WP Bakery you can copy and paste content elements and rows within a page or post. You can also use the copy paste functionality to copy and paste between pages on the same website. And the best part is that you can copy and paste rows between websites built with WP Bakery making it extra easy and fast to work on multiple websites and not manually recreate every layout. Plus, you can do that with both front-end and the back-end editor. So, let me show you how to do that. I'm using IndieStack to build my sites and, as you can see, I have two websites here already. Let's open up the first one and open a page with the WP Bakery front-end editor first. To copy a row, simply hover over the row and you'll see the blue row options. Now click on the little arrow to reveal all options. This is the copy icon right next to the clone icon. You can now paste the whole row anywhere in the layout by clicking the paste icon, which is this one, on any other row and it will add the copied one right under it. To copy an element, again, hover over the element you want to copy and you'll see the green element controls. Click on the copy icon and you can paste the element in any column if you click on the paste icon. If you're using the backend editor, the copy paste process is exactly the same. You'll see the copy icon in the row and element controls and you can paste by clicking the paste icon. To copy and paste between pages within the same site, simply copy from one and click on the paste icon the same way as you would if it were the same site. If you want to copy and paste between multiple websites, you'll need WP Bakery to be activated on both. So let's go back to IndieStack where I have both of my websites and open the other one too. And open the front end editor for a page. From here, you can just copy any row Go to the other side and paste by pressing Command or Control and V. Also make sure that both sides share the same add-ons if you have any installed for the copy-paste functionality to work as expected. And that's it for this tutorial. Don't forget to always save your changes and thank you for watching. I'll see you at the next one.